Over the weekend, a new apology from Martin Bashir, but the former BBC journalist does not admit he harmed Princess Diana in any way. Everything we did in terms of the interview was as she wanted, he told the Sunday Times. My family and I loved her. According to Bashir, the two remained friends after the program aired. On forging bank statements as part of an elaborate ruse to get an introduction to her, he told the paper, obviously, I regret it. It was wrong, but insisted it had no bearing on Diana's willingness to talk to him. He also said he was deeply sorry to her sons, but rejected claims that he fueled her paranoia. Over the weekend, Prince William ignored a question about the new interview. Are you aware of Martin Bashir's apology, Your Highness? Visiting Scotland, Prince William spoke about his mother for the second time in as many days. In short, Scotland is the source of some of my happiest memories, but also my saddest. I was in Balmoral when I was told that my mother had died. Last week, the Duke of Cambridge had strong words for the BBC following the release of the independent report into the famous 1995 interview. He blamed Bashir's deceitful behavior for making his mother Diana unhappy and for making his parents' marriage worse. Diana biographer Andrew Morton agrees. He scared her half to death. She was put in a state of fear and trepidation um, and that encouraged her to speak out. Prince Harry echoed his older brother. In his new docuseries with Oprah, it's clear who he blames for his mother's death. I was so angry with what happened to her and the fact that there was no, there was no justice at all. Nothing came from that. The same people that chased her into the tunnel photographed her dying on the back seat of that car. The royal family leaving the official responses to Bashir and to the report to Princes William and Harry, while the Queen got back in the swing of her royal duty. We should note Bashir also later worked for MSNBC, because this is a lasting wound for the BBC. The British public are horrified that they were deceived, that there was deception with the public broadcaster meant to serve them. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.